All right. Got a couple more questions. Robin, how do you, how do you define co-managed? I, I don't think this this is right. Kim was asking, Kim Levy was asking the number 50 or more. So I think she's saying 50 or more employees should always be considered co-mits. No, no. Co-managed is where you're targeting, a, uh, sometimes you'll hear the term MME, mid-market enterprise. And those are companies that are large enough that have one or more dedicated IT people. So when I say dedicated, I'm not talking about the office manager who also acts as tech support. I'm talking about like they have a dedicated network admin or something to that effect. And so those companies seems like right now, the sweet spot is a company that has one to five uh, IT people um, for smaller MSPs. And what they're doing is they're going in and they're customizing a managed services agreement where they're supporting those IT people with the tools, with the ticketing tools, the backing up, whatever, and their help desk or whatever support they need. Because it just depends, like you might go into a company and they might find somebody who's really good at a good help desk person, but they're not a network engineer or they're not well-versed on security. So they'll come in a co-managed arrangement. It's like, okay, you handle all the help desk. We'll give you and set up our ticketing system. And then we will, you can elevate tickets up to my team and we'll handle those. You handle the ones in-house. And that's a co-managed IT environment. And there's, there are sessions up on the dashboard about this. Um, it is becoming more popular um, with MSPs because Companies are outsourcing. There is a definite trend of more companies not bringing IT in-house, but outsourcing it because of the cybersecurity and regulatory compliance necessary. Labor shortage is driving this. It's really hard. If you guys know, it's hard finding IT people. It's hard for everybody finding them, right? So um, that is a definite trend, but it's not necessarily based on the number of users. It, de it depends on the number of IT people in a company. Now, what you tend to find is once you get north of 50 users, 75 users, you tend to find companies that are going to start having that in-house IT person. That's that's where that 50 came by, it, but it's not a hard, fast rule. Yeah, it's really that definition that they have that IT person, uh, yeah. that they are a actual dedicated IT person. I'm seeing it also that it's not just the cybersecurity. One of the other trends is that it's so hard for them to hire uh, people. Uh, and so instead of having to hire someone, especially if you only need someone for that that incremental amount of work, you can do it through an MSP to, to be able to 